All right, we got a workout today for relieving neck pain and re-establishing proper tension around the neck as well as the spine and rehabilitating the hip flexors. So we're gonna start up standing with the toes slightly in, heels out. Get your ankles straight, engage your arches, big toe pressing down. Stand up tall, make sure you're unlocking your knees. Big breaths, if you want, you can do thumbs at the base of the ribs, pinky at the top of the hips with the shoulders retracting back. Elbows wide. So it should look like standing up tall. Let's send the hips back. Make sure you're not hyperextending. So if you need to tuck a little bit, go for it. But don't over tuck here. Keep the lower back slightly arch and then check your shoulders and check your hip. Chin is gonna press down to lengthen the back of the neck. The head is gonna retract. Chin in, head retract. Chin in, head retract. Hips back, ankle straight, big toe down, chin down, back of the neck long, and then come up to stand. Okay. From this tall position, let's turn the head to the right. See how far you can go. Back to center. And then turn to the left. Checking the range of motion. Shoulders back, hips slightly back. Head to the right. And to the left. Couple more like that. And then come back to neutral with the head. Let's go left ear to the left shoulder. Right ear to the right shoulder. Without rotating the head, just side flexion. Hips slightly back. If you need, check the knees, check the ankles. Make sure that you're still keeping the idea of the chin in and the head back as you go into side flexion. One more time on each side. Back to center, shake that off. All right, we're going to simply roll the shoulders back, making circles with the shoulders. Making sure both shoulders are hiking up to the same level, that both shoulders are going far back, down and forward, smoothing it out. Change directions. And one more time, changing directions. Back to neutral. Circles with the head, inhale, roll the head back. Exhale, roll the head forward. Check your toes, check your heels, check your ankles, check your knees. If you feel any pain, Either slow down or skip, or maybe even pause and breathe through any sections that feel extra tight. Change directions, inhale back, exhale forward. Inhale back. Exhale forward. And back to neutral. Again, we're gonna stand up tall, separate the feet a little wider, big toes in, heels out. Engage that inner arch. 
straighten the ankles, stand up tall, find the right arch on the low back, <sighs> shoulders back, elbows wide, chin down, send the hips back, and then from this position here on the hinge, rotate the head to the side with the chin down, with the head retracted. Back to center, keep pulling the head back, chin in, lateral flexion. Back to center, check it off. We're gonna go on the ground, face down, hands to the side of the ears or hands back by the hips. Ideally, you would do it with your hands to the side of the head but if it's too hard, then palm face down by the hips. Take those together, heels apart, flex the ankle and lift the toes off the ground. Keep the forehead on the ground. Toes are barely off the ground, no weight on the toes. Knees together on the ground, hips on the ground. If you need to here, you can tuck the tailbone to protect the low back. We're gonna lift the head up, but don't look forward. Just keep the chin in towards the chest, lift the head up. We're gonna check toes, heels, ankle, flex, knees, squeezing on the floor. If you can, lift the hands and elbows, try to keep those at 90 degrees. Chin in, back of the neck long. If that's too much, you can just keep the hands and elbows on the ground, working on lifting the head straight up, chin down, head up, chin down. You can try rotations in this position. If it's too much, skip it. Keeping the back of the neck long. Back to center, side flexion again, ear to the shoulder. Back to center, release. We're gonna pull back to a child pose as a counter pose here to Give the low back and the extensors a break. So knees wide, big toes touching, sit your hips back towards your heels, forehead on the ground, arms stretch forward. And just let yourself be heavy here for a few breaths. And then let's go on our backs, face up. Same idea here, big toes together, heels apart, knees fairly bent. The farther you are with your heels, the harder it will be. More bend is easier. So about 90 degrees at the knees is good to start. Big toes together, heels apart, flex the ankles. And first thing I do is check the tucking and tilts here. Tuck, knees, hip flexor, abdominals, tilt, knees, low back muscles, right? So we're gonna do a few times alternating. Make sure you're not using your mid and thoracic extensors here that you keep it on the low back. And then once you're tucked, then we're gonna check neck and shoulders. The shoulders are gonna wanna hike up to the ceiling and to the ears here. So we actually wanna press them to the mat and to our hips, hands to the side. Work the chin in. If you're working the hip flexors and challenging the hip flexors here, you're gonna try to take some weight off your heels as you tuck and press the spine down. Obviously doing your best to keep the shoulders down, to keep the chin in, 
the back of the neck long. If you're working more with the neck, then maybe you let the heels be heavier and you focus on lifting the head just barely off the ground, an eighth of an inch or so. Tuck in the chin. The more you can keep everything in integrity, the better. If you need to take a pause, reset, breathe. You could try to do both heel and head at the same time. As long as you're talking hard, that's good. And then the other option would be to make it real, real easy here with the heels fully on the floor. And then just turning the head side to side with the head barely touching the ground. If keeping the head on the floor is too hard, you can always just lift a little bit. This will be easier because the muscles are shorter, but if you want to lengthen the muscles, challenge them a little bit more, then you can let the head be heavier. Back to center, relax. All right, let's try it face down one more time. Big toes together, heels apart, flex the ankle, forehead on the floor, hands to the side of the ears, lift the toes up, heels apart, knees together, lift the head up, back of the neck long, maybe keep the arms, maybe you lift them on the floor, try some mobility on the neck, idea inhaling on the center, Exhaling as you turn. There's no need to go fast. You can always do it slower. Just do your best to focus on the cues. Avoid any pain. If you feel pain, look for the cue, the adjustment that creates space. Maybe some side neck flexions. And child pose. Big toes together, knees apart, heels. And just breathe here, breathe into your low back. Hmm. And last time, face up. Front chain one more time, big toes together, heels apart, flex the ankle, arms to the side, tuck and tilt a few times, developing that neuromuscular connection and then keeping that tuck strong, hip flexors, chin in, strong front neck flexors, Maybe the heels lifting, weight off the legs. Maybe the head lifting, weight off the neck and the head. If you need to lift the head higher to get the mobility, that's fine. If you rather work a little longer, that's great. Option to rotate. If it doesn't feel good, skip it. And when you're ready, relax, take a breath. All right, good job.